Good morning. It's 9.30 on Thursday. <laughs> um, as you can see, I actually put some effort into myself today. So I got this romper. I'm trying to give a look. Ooh, and you can tell my kitchen is disgusting. But I got this romper from Sheen. Probably for like $5, right? And it's adorable. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I don't have to wear a bra with it. So that makes it like freaking amazing. I'm a no bra kind of a gal. So this made me very happy. Um, Let me round up my dogs and then I will go ahead and tell you what the heck I am up to. So I am going to flip around and show you guys the disaster that is my house right now. Okay, so I rearranged, well, my dad and I rearranged my house. I used to have the kitchen table right here, the table, whatever, dining table. Moved it over there, which seems weird, like, but I love it because it really opens up the space. There's no like cluster anymore. I mean, it is odd because now I feel like I can't use that to actually like eat when I'm preparing stuff still for the kids, but it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. When my dad was here visiting um, for Blaze's birthday, Blaze really started to test the railing. Okay. Um, he had not done that before, but that's apparently his new thing. We broke down part of like my major long baby gate fence thing that I had. This is just like a third of that. And my dad and I secured it. So obviously it's not beautiful, but um, it's done the trick. Just safer. Um, those right there are some stepping stones Blaze got for his birthday from his Nana, from my mom. They are so much fun. Um, you just, they, the kids can line them up and, um, step on them, jump off of them, make a path, you know, whatever they want to do. Okay. Time check. Perfect. I'm very, very on time today. So I got my brows retouched yesterday. Um, I can see right here, there's a little bit of a gap, but I think once I start brushing my hairs up, it's like the hair up, it's going to be totally fine. I think they look bomb. I love to have really dramatic dark brows and she did that for me. So yeah. What I'm doing now is driving to another town to have my gums grafted. See the gum recession? It's gorgeous here. Oh, I was going to bring just a light jacket, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to need one. So I'm not even going to run back in. I'm just going to risk it. Anyway, I got into a little tiff with my mom um, earlier in the week about watching the kids. But it's not about the kids. It's just her and I, re our relationship. We've always had a um, tough, sensitive relationship. And it improved when I moved out of the house and went to college. But... Um, it's just, it's a strange relationship. I love my mom very much. She helps me a lot in my life. I'm very thankful for her. But there's also things um, that were problematic for me growing up that continue to sort of haunt me, um, stuff I need to work through, but then also just things, you know, um, that we, we run into every once in a while. So long story short, Originally, my hope was that my mom would get the kids, maybe even keep them over tonight so that if I am truly miserable, I can just be miserable alone. Um, but when I got into that stuff with my mom, I did not even want to remind slash ask about that. So um, I skipped taking Ember to Head Start. I did not take her to Head Start this morning, which is the preschool that she goes to for the first half of the day. Um, I opted to just take her to the preschool that she goes to the second half of the day because then I don't have to drive her midday. Surgery is at 11, two week recovery, I guess. Um, and I don't, I don't really know. Anyway, I'm just expecting to be kind of miserable. But if I'm feeling like I can sort of tolerate the misery, I really, really want to stop at Target to pick up some like blackout shades for my kids' rooms because when I moved in there half a year ago, I didn't put up any, I have not drilled any holes or hung anything in my house because I didn't want to damage any, anything. 
because I'm either going to be renting it like the end of this year or next year or selling it at the end of next year and moving. Um, so I haven't put up anything. So what happens is, especially now in the summer, my kids wake up at the butt crack of dawn. Like they wake up at five. I wanna be able to sleep more now. I'm gonna buy some curtains, cause I'll need to do that no matter what. And then depending upon how motivated I'm feeling, I might buy like a stud finder and try to hang the rods by myself. Currently Starbucks is closed. I really need coffee. I'm just getting nice coffee at McDonald's. Also placed a Walmart pickup order yesterday and it just never got ready. Like it went through. They got my order and then when it's time to pick it up, they just like didn't have it. Hey, can I get a medium iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla? Well. Can actually be a super pain and can you add a water to it? I hate doing that because I used to work at McDonald's and I know it throws their whole cup rotation off. I used to get so irritated when people would do that to me. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you guys either like right before my surgery or afterwards <laughs> and let you know what I'm up to. So, bye-bye. So, all done with my gum stuff. Just finished up at Target. Got a bunch of stuff I don't necessarily need, but I should have actually got a Starbucks in there. I am not allowed to use straws, which makes sense. Couldn't use them after my um, lips either. But I'm like, okay, great. So what? Can't really eat on the run. I don't feel like eating anything but like maybe a smoothie or something so I figure I'll just <laughs> it's so numb right there <laughs> um yeah I'm gonna try to find a drive through Starbucks cause they do the lids that you don't need a straw for I really want I never get frappuccinos but like I really want one right now for whatever reason Oh my god. I look rough. I hurt really bad. And like I was talking to her, so this was only one half of the gum surgery that I need. I need my other side done still. She did this side today, which thought we were going to do this side because this side's much worse, but whatever. Um, so I'm starting Accutane on June 1st and um, I doubt I can have this done on Accutane so I'm kind of like <sighs> I'm kind of like okay I absolutely want to do Accutane I can always push it out but getting this surgery scheduled is a pain in the ass I have to go pick up some prescription meds at Walmart and since Walmart jacked up my grocery order I need to get some groceries so I just want to go home and sit but I dawdled here anyway let me get on the road well I'm gonna try to find maybe a Starbucks and then I'm gonna actually I don't even feel like Starbucks I don't feel like anything honestly all right talk to you guys later I just bought actual groceries without my children, and it is so weird. I actually got, like, a bunch of shit. <laughs> and whenever I go into the store, I always try to get things, like, that I don't normally get. Like, I look down the aisles to see things I don't normally get because I can add them to my, like, Walmart items, you know? So next to my shop, I, like, remember I can just shop online for them. Okay, what is this? Oh... So they gave me hydrocodone, yes, which I've had in the past when I've had surgeries and stuff. I'm feeling fine right now. I'm just imagining using these at night so that I can sleep. Um, also, it's three o'clock. I've got two hours till I get my kids. I have to take these antibiotics, amoxicillin. Same thing my son just took for his ear infection. Shooting them back with my iced coffee. 
Um, yeah, I'm feeling so happy because it's sunny. I think I said this numerous times. That should just boost my mood so much. Priority when I get home before I get the kids is to hang up those curtain rods. And then when I get the kids, maybe I can work while they play outside. I'm gonna unload all this crap at home. Like all my Walmart stuff and my Target stuff to show what I got. I'm actually really excited about a lot of it. So if I get all this works, work, all of these tasks accomplished and I have like an hour left, I'm thinking I'll take off my nails and do a, a bath. Oh no, because I want to apply self-tanner. Also, I signed up for a summer class that's supposed to start next week and it's a lot of work. I was looking at the syllabus, it's, it's a lot of work and I'm like, do you wanna do that or do you wanna just take some time? I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do. The number one biggest reason I was upset like immediately after getting my gums done was because they told me, which I remember them telling me this, but no strenuous activity for two weeks to raise my heart rate. That actually upsets me more than anything because as anyone knows that's watched any of my videos, I work out, that's my happy thing. I run, that's my happy thing. And not, like, even though two weeks is not the end of the world, it feels like a lifetime. And I'm just like, great. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Stop complaining about it, right? I'm trying to do all, I'm making this year, which, oh my gosh, guys, can anyone else believe it's already the end of May? Like, what? I'm turning 28 next month. I understand if you're like older and you hear this, you're probably rolling your eyes. But approaching 30 is actually giving me a lot of feels. <laughs> I've placed a lot of um, personal emphasis on 30. So I think if I stopped doing that, I wouldn't feel this way. But to me, 30 is the end of my youth. And I think what's hard about it for me is that I didn't, I've had a, I had a great youth, like in terms of things that I did, um, accomplishments that I made. I always said I would have kids in my mid twenties, did that. But I, uh, I want to have more kids. <laughs> Part of that is that like when my relationship ended um knowing that i'm young young and wanting to be in another relationship a lot of men don't have kids you know so i would want to have kids with the person that i end up marrying because being married is a goal of mine <laughs> like not just being in a dead-end relationship for you know 10 years like i did last time around so Ideally, I wanted to have my kids really close in age because I don't want to be redoing all of what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm imagining I'm going to be out of the, out of the newborn stage, but out of the toddler stage and I'm just going to be like, you know what I mean? So to think of having my kids grow older and then start all over again, it it just isn't what I want. Like, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I want things to be what they're supposed to be and to work out. Like, I don't want to plan things anymore, but you know, I'm just looking at it. Like, I don't want to have two kids and then, you know, 10 years later have another kid. Like, that's not for a multitude of reasons what I want to do. I wanted to sort of be done having kids by like 30 as it shakes out right now it's not necessarily gonna happen i'm in a school zone right now right by the junior high we are at a standstill i got these egg bites the kale and portobello ones from starbucks like forever ago they're cool now but with my mouth that's kind of how i have to eat them right now this was the perfect food for my mouth because it just melts you know they're so good 
I've also been emotional today, lately, this week. In the argument with my mom, sad because I have like no one here to like help me or care about me or you know what I mean? <laughs> like I can handle myself, okay? This surgery is a breeze, whatever. It's just one of those things that would be nice to like be able to have someone like there or like, a, a, you know what I mean? Like that I could like come home to someone who's like, how are you feeling? Can I help you? <laughs> I don't know. I've just been emotional. I've been emotional about my kid's dad for my kids. They deserve better. Um, my daughter was like talking about it the other day. Daddy's father's father's day is coming up i fucking hate father's day i dread it every single year it's always right around my daughter's birthday which is probably a good thing because then her birthday just takes the sort of power away from father's day and the emphasis away from it for us i mean my kids have a papa that's very involved so you know at the very least like God, my car says I'm running over shit. But I hate Father's Day just because it, if nothing else, opens a dialogue that I have with my daughter right now. Someday it will be my son too. In which I have to be like, I don't have to be like this, but in which my mind goes to, I am sorry I gave you a shitty dad. I feel like that was my responsibility and I'm sorry now that all of your friends have a dad and that, you know, gets talked about. And I, I'm not saying like every family has a dad because obviously that's not true, but I'm saying my daughter, all of her friends have dads. So it's just one of those things. It's just uncomfortable um, and just makes me upset. And I've just been emotional about my ex because I'm just like, you were not a very nice person to me and I had such low self-worth <laughs> that I let that happen for so long. I wouldn't have my two beautiful babies in the life I have right now without. So I'm thankful to him for that. But I'm, I'm also thankful to him that I get to live my life with my kids how I want. I don't have to include him in that picture at all that may change but right now that's the case no one wants to go through what i went through you know it's not anyway just been like emotional about that maybe i'm just sick of being alone anyway i am going to get out and unload all this crud and then get to my so I actually decided because I had so much footage from today that I'm going to split this off into at least one more video and I'll do um, the grocery haul in that video. And then I also have the curtains, hanging up the curtains in my kid's room. So I think I will actually make that another video if I have enough to stretch um, into another one. So we will see and um, make sure to catch my other videos if you want to see all the cool <laughs> grocery and Target fun stuff I got for the kids. So catch you next time.